Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to expand a little bit on referencing these memory locations as we did right here with that uh, reference operator. Now what we can do is create a pointer that points to different memory locations. So how does that look exactly? And then I'll try to explain it again after I code it. So a pointer is just any, just like a normal variable except for it doesn't hold a value, it holds a memory address of, of something else. So let me just code, uh, we're going to have an int pointer and it's going to hold, I'm just going to call it pointer, okay? That's a very, that's like saying x or something, it's just a variable name, it doesn't matter what it's called. And I'm going to set that equal to my age but you don't want to just say my age because that would be 27 and we would get an error because a pointer holds addresses so we want to put in the reference to the address so let's do that I'm going to put the and sign my age okay so let's print that out just to see what we would get if we did pointer and lose the asterisk on this one okay and we're just going to print this out and see if this is the same as my age. Think about it for a second as I'm pressing this build and run. And it is the same. And the reason it's the same is because, like I said, pointers hold addresses. And if we set it to the same address as my age, then the my age address should be the same as the pointer. But what if we wanted the value that's inside of pointer, okay? we use what's called a dereference operator. Remember, this is the reference operator, and a dereference operator is if we just printed out this with the uh, asterisk on the front. So what this is going to do is it's going to look at what this pointer holds, that address, and then it's going to go to that address and retrieve the value. So let's run that now. Okay, so we got that 27. So that is how you can uh, get values and memory locations with a pointer. And another thing we can do is I'm going to have this, uh, I don't really need this right now for my next example, but let's say that I set the pointer to my age, okay? And I printed that out, but then I have another int variable. Let's say int, and I'm going to say friend's age. And I'm going to set that equal to uh, 25. And I want pointer to now point to friend's age. So what you do there is you just say pointer equals uh, the ampersand sign friend's age. Friend's age. Okay. So what we did here is now pointer is the same exact variable, but it's pointing to a different address. So let's print that out and see what we get. Uh, pointer again in line. All right, let's run that. All right, and notice that now we have two different memory locations, but it's the same variable. So that's the difference between having this normal variable where uh, my age is just a human readable form of a hexadecimal, okay? So it has a memory address that's covered up with this abstraction of the name my age makes it a lot easier to program and my age location can be pointed to with this pointer alright and it's just an address but it holds this value so if we create a pointer now we can point it at different addresses where if I changed uh, 27 to 26 or any other number we're in that same address so that is how we change addresses is with the pointer alright and was that the last thing I wanted to talk about? Well, also I want to talk about a pointer. You can only put in a memory address. If I just wanted to put in a number or something, let's take that off. And pretty much now what I'm saying is pointer is equal to 25. Let's build and run that. And you see we get an error there, so that is no good. So you need to only put memory addresses in there for right now or forever. And that's it. So I will try to expand on this again in the next tutorial. This is one of the harder concepts for a beginner to understand. Java, you don't have to worry about pointers because they're hidden in abstraction as well when you create objects and whatnot. 
So join me in the next tutorial and subscribe below. Thank you guys.